Hey friends, what's up? How's it going? So this week we are going to be talking about the top 10 best Disney Channel TV shows in the 2000s. I myself was a 2000s child, um, so I know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, these are the TV shows I feel are the best in the um, 2000s, the Disney Channel 2000s. Um, these are the ones that I watched regularly, that I love, that I could not miss. Um, some of these are in the DVR era, and I would DVR them and watch them, and um, yeah. So, let's get going. Um, I also want to mention that I was a big Disney Channel girl, so like I'm, I'm a professional basically. <laughs> so let's go. We're going to start with number 10, which is Kim Possible, which ran from 2002 to 2007. <laughs> I loved this show so much. I love that she was a normal teenager, but she was also a super um, awesome spy girl who saved the world. Like she could do both. Duh, and then she was a cheerleader, and I loved it, and then I loved Ron Stoppable also. He was hilarious, and Rufus is also adorable. The, In my opinion, the only adorable naked mole rat there is, because the real-life versions are, are kind of ugly. Sorry, not sorry. But yeah, number 10 is Kim Possible. Number, <coughs> sorry, 9 is Phil of the Future. Oh my gosh, okay, it ran from 2004 to 2006, and I... I loved that show. I thought all of the cool futuristic things were cool. Like, I was like, oh my god, we're gonna spray food. Like, ugh, is that gonna be disgusting or is that gonna be good? Like, oh my gosh, like, I was so, like, into it. Um, yeah, I loved it so much. I thought the parents were hilarious. Um, and I shipped, um, Phil and Kaylee. Just, I'm just gonna say. Number eight is The Sweet Life on Deck, which ran from 2008 to 2011. Um, not gonna lie, when it ended, I cried. But I was really, really happy to hear that Sweet Life of Zack and Cody would get um, a spinoff, a sequel. Like, it wasn't gonna end my favorite um, Tipton Twins. We're not going away forever just yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, I... Okay, I am terrified terrified of deep water therefore I do not nor will I most likely ever go on a cruise ship in my life um so that part scared the crap out of me but I did love this show like because I had a major crush on Cole Sprouse growing up um me and my best friend Megan said that I was gonna marry Cole and she was gonna marry Dylan and we were gonna live right next to each other and it was just gonna be amazing like we had big plans. Obviously those plans did not pan out, but hey, we were like 10, so whatever. Um, <coughs> so yeah, Play the Fun Deck was a great show and honestly a great spinoff. Um, number seven is Sunny with a Chance. For, it ran from 2009 to 2011. Oh my gosh, when I heard that Demi Lovato was getting a show, I was like, yes, Queen. I loved Demi Lovato from the Camp Rock movies. Um, I wanted to be Demi Lovato because she got to hang out with the Jonas Brothers, um, which we'll talk about later. But I was so excited, and that was it was like a different show because it was about a sketch comedy, but it was like behind the scenes, and I just loved it. I just loved it. Number six is Jonas. It ran from 2009 to 2010, so only a year, but it's okay. Um, I was obsessed with all things the Jonas Brothers. Um, Nick was my favorite, still is my favorite. Sorry, Kevin and Joe. I was going to also marry him. We see how that planned out. Um, but hey, you live and you learn. So yeah, Jonas was a great show. Like, <laughs> I loved it so much. Yeah. <laughs> Number five is That's So Raven. It ran from 2003 to 2007. That was one of my favorite um, Disney Channel shows for a very long time. It was like number two when it ran. Um, I will tell you number one later because it does come up later in this list. 
but I just I loved her high I loved Raven's hijinks I loved that she was a psychic and that she could see the future and like that would get her in trouble um I just it was just a really good wholesome show um number four is Hannah Montana which ran from 2006 to 2011 okay I gotta tell you when Hannah Montana ended I was like no and then they came out with Hannah Montana forever and I was like okay good we got one more season but I <laughs> I wanted to be Hannah Montana when I was um a child when I, I it ran from it started when I was 10 so I wanted to be Hannah Montana I wanted to have a normal life but also be a pop star and I thought that was possible and it didn't happen which was really sad but I'm kind of over it maybe but yeah um it was a really great show and I'm sad it's over um number three is Wizards of Waverly Place it ran from 2007 to 2012 again um in that era of life, I was obsessed with Selena Gomez, like her and Demi Lovato were besties and I just wanted to be both of them. And so I mainly watched the show for Selena. I stayed because it's a great show. Like I wanted to be a wizard. Like I was like, yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna be a wizard. Like mom, dad, tell me any day that we're wizards. Cause yeah. And I thought it was so sweet that the dad gave his magic up so he could marry the mom who's a mortal. But yeah. It was a really great show and I was really sad when it was over. Um, number two is The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. It ran from 2005 to 2008. This show introduced me to the Sprouse Twins. This show created my adolescent obsession with the Spr Sprouse Twins. Um, yeah, it was a great show. I thought it was so cool that they got to live in a hotel and like... I just that was like the best thing ever when I growing up I was obsessed with staying in hotels and I just thought staying in hotels was the coolest thing ever and I was super jealous that they got to stay in a hotel and live and I had to go to my house like what but <laughs> yeah um and again hijinks hilarious it was a wholesome Disney show and I loved it and then number one my absolute favorite Disney Channel show from the 2000s and honestly of all times is Lizzie McGuire which ran from 2001 to 2004. Um, I was obsessed with that show. That show was like really the only show that like like Zach and Cody they lived in a hotel. Raven that's a Raven. She had psychic powers. Hannah Montana was a freaking pop star. Like Wizards of Waverly Place had magical powers. Lizzie McGuire was about a normal teenager going through normal teenage stuff, trying to grow up and figure out who she was and deal with her parents and her friends and her annoying little brother Matt, which I had a crush on. Like he was he was it. He I was going to marry Matt and his spiky hair. Um, but yeah, it was really, it was like about the ordinary girl and I think that's why I related with it so much was because I could see myself in Lizzie because she was normal. She didn't have anything special about her. She was just a plain girl who was trying to get through growing up from preteen to teenager and trying to figure it out along the way with her best friends, which I... When it ended, I was very sad. I went to the Lizzie McGuire movie in the theaters with my dad. Um, at the beginning, it, when Matt is like playing, like trying to like video record Lizzie when she's getting ready, we thought we were in the wrong movie because we thought we were in like some spy movie, but it ended up obviously being the right movie. But I went with my dad and it was the best day ever. I loved it so much. And I'm so glad that, um, spoilers if you ever seen it but it came out in like 2005 I feel like um so you've had some time to watch it but I was so happy that the end Lizzie and Gordo kissed and I like to imagine that they started dating in high school um and I was so super bummed when I heard that the the spin-off the sequel whatever with the reboot of Lizzie McGuire like no more it's no more as of November 2022 like I was so sad I was so excited that they were coming back and and then they, they didn't come back and I'm sad about it 
but that was my show like I had to watch it all the time like if Lizzie was on shut up don't talk like no bathroom breaks except for commercials and then you'd run to the bathroom and try to do your business before it came back and you'd run back and it was the time guys it was a time and I loved it so those were my top 10 favorite Disney Channel um, sh TV shows in the 2000s. Let me know if you guys have anything different from me. Let me know your top 10 list in the comments. I would love to hear them. Um, there were so m many other shows that I watched on Disney Channel. They just didn't cut the top 10. So, thank you for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more of my face. I post new videos every single Friday at 4 p.m. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.